the German Aerospace Center is developing a robot named Justin, which will be tasked with constructing habitats for Mars colonists. Recently, Justin has been endowed with artificial intelligence. When humanity is finally ready to move to Mars, it won't be capable of making the journey alone. Reliable experts with encyclopedic knowledge, capable of calmly working in extreme conditions will be needed. In other words, robots like Justin. Justin can use tools, take photographs and upload them to the network, catch flying objects and navigate around obstacles. The robot weighs 199 kilograms and stands 192 centimeters tall. With the addition of artificial intelligence, Justin has learned to independently perform complex tasks that were not even programmed into him on development stage. Justin can work on the surface of Mars while astronauts monitor him from orbit. Justin is equipped with object recognition software and computer vision, enabling him to analyze his surroundings and perform tasks such as cleaning, inspecting, and maintaining equipment, as well as transporting items. NASA and General Motors have joined forces to develop a new version of NASA's humanoid astronaut robot. The goal of the Robonaut project is to explore technologies that can be used in space exploration to assist and enhance the safety of astronauts. Robonaut 2 is a humanoid robot consisting of a torso, two dexterous arms, and a head equipped with a vision system. The machine can write, grasp and stack objects and hold heavy items. Each hand of the Robonaut has five fingers with joints similar to those of a human. Each hand is capable of lifting a nine kilogram weight, which it can extend away from the robot while maintaining balance. Robonaut 2 surpasses previous dexterous humanoid robots in strength, but is still safe enough to work alongside humans. It can lift, not just hold, this nine kilogram weight both close to and away from its body. The task of Robonaut 2 is to replace humans during spacewalks and to perform repair work in depressurized compartments. Theoretically, the android is supposed to mimic the movements of a human operator, but practically, it still has some difficulties in achieving this. Meet Space Hopper, a creation by engineers from the ETH Zurich Lab. This small three-legged robot was specifically designed to operate in low-gravity environments such as on asteroids. Using neural networks for learning, Spacehopper has mastered the ability to jump and move across surfaces, using the low gravity of a celestial body to navigate and stabilize itself mid-air before safely landing. It can repeat this process to effectively traverse significant distances. However, testing its functionality in real conditions is a critical step. Sending Space Hopper to the nearest asteroid is neither the most efficient nor the simplest way to verify its capabilities. Through collaboration with the European Space Agency and Nova Space, a company specializing in zero-gravity flights, the robot was able to undergo tests in a microgravity environment. Space Hopper successfully demonstrated its functionality in conditions with even less gravity than on an asteroid. The creators of Space Hopper believe that deploying their robot on an asteroid one day could help astronomers gain new insights into the history of the universe and enhance our understanding of the earliest periods of our solar system. The crew of the International Space Station is not composed solely of humans. At an altitude of 400 kilometers above Earth, floating alongside the astronauts in this space laboratory, you will find Honey, Queen, and Bumble, NASA's flying robotic assistants known as Astro Bees. They were delivered to the ISS at different times, starting in 2018. Honey and Bumble were the first to arrive in orbit, followed by Queen. These robots differ significantly from our typical humanoid conceptions. Each robot is a 30 centimeters wide cube, distinguishable by their colors. They assist the ISS crew with important but tedious tasks, such as inventory management, documenting experiments with built-in cameras, and transporting cargo across the station. As of 2023, NASA reported that the Astro B robots had accumulated over 750 hours of operation on the ISS, successfully completed more than 100 tasks, and demonstrated capabilities previously considered science fiction. These include autonomously reporting and investigating simulated anomalies on board the station.
A European consortium with the participation of the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence developed technologies in the PROACT project that allow several robots to cooperate in the construction of these plants and perform complex tasks in preparation for space missions. Mantis is a multi-legged robot with six extremities. The system was developed as a platform for interdisciplinary research in the area of mobile manipulation with multi-legged robots. To fulfill a variety of different tasks, the robot is capable of operating in two different postures. In the manipulation posture, Mantis uses the four rear legs for locomotion and the two front legs for manipulation. Furthermore, in the locomotion posture, the robot walks on all six extremities, which is a big advantage in difficult terrain. This flexibility allows to solve complex scenarios with only one system. Several software components as well as planning methods can be evaluated within such scenarios. Meet Valkyrie, a robot that is set to travel to Mars in the future. Scientists in Edinburgh have begun training NASA's robot, which may one day join American astronauts in space and assist them on orbit. Currently, this is NASA's most advanced robot. The 180-centimeter humanoid has 44 movable joints, allowing it to perform a wide range of movements. It is also equipped with scanning lasers and cameras to simulate human vision. The robot's tasks will include inspecting and maintaining infrastructure, as well as caring for plants grown in space. NASA hopes that Valkyrie can handle monotonous tasks, freeing up human time for more complex missions. Valkyrie features simplified hands with only three fingers and a thumb, and its head has three degrees of freedom. Numerous elastic rotational actuators ensure smooth movements. The robot's designers also added anthropomorphic features to make it appear more human, rather than just a piece of metal. The Tokyo-based company Gitai, founded in 2016 by Sho Nakanos, is developing robots for work in space and on the lunar surface. In 2021, the company successfully conducted its first demonstration on the ISS. Another demonstration is expected outside the ISS in 2024. Gitai has already secured $47 million in investments from major funds for robot development and has projects with the Toyota and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. But that's not all, because Nakano's plans to deploy thousands of robots for missions on the lunar and Martian surfaces. He believes that their work will make space exploration more accessible and practical, as it eliminates the risk to humans. Sending robots into space instead of humans could reduce the cost of operations by 100 times, according to the entrepreneur. Gitai is already producing a two-meter robot that resembles a caterpillar. It moves like the insect and can be equipped with attachments such as a drill or shovel to perform various tasks, Nakano's explains. This could potentially reduce the need for astronauts to perform spacewalks, especially for repair and maintenance tasks on spacecraft or space stations. Introducing RoboSimian, a spider-like robot jointly developed by NASA and DARPA. RoboSimian is designed for operation in challenging environments, featuring four limbs with multiple joints. The robot was created as part of DARPA's Robotics Challenge. RoboSimian easily navigates various obstacles and can even open doors. RoboSimian is capable of clearing debris, climbing stairs, and handling construction tools. These abilities can be crucial in disaster relief efforts, particularly in situations where human involvement poses a lethal risk. The developers equipped RoboSimian with four robotic arms, each segmented for versatile movement. In addition to its other skills, RoboSimian excels at climbing stairs due to its body shape and overall design. Some of its movements can be performed autonomously, but it is primarily intended for remote operation. In the future, this robot may be used for military purposes by the U.S. Army, as well as in NASA's space programs. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.